Satellite images published on Sunday showed military maneuvers at the Belarus border with Ukraine ahead of joint drills with Russia that NATO called the biggest deployment to Belarus since the Cold War. Two U.S. officials said over the weekend that Russia has in place about 70 percent of the combat power it believes it would need for a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Moscow has said it is not planning an invasion but could take unspecified military action if its security demands are not met. Outside the White House on Sunday, President Joe Biden was asked about those demands, which include a promise that Ukraine never becomes a NATO member. I think things he cannot get. Earlier on Sunday, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Russia could invade Ukraine, quote, as soon as tomorrow or in some weeks, but could still opt for a diplomatic path. More U.S. troops arrived in Poland on Sunday after Biden ordered nearly 3,000 extra soldiers to reinforce NATO allies in Eastern Europe in case of spillover from the crisis. The deployment of elements of the 82nd Airborne Division are here to enhance the readiness, interoperability across all domains uh, with our Polish allies and, uh, if necessary, defend any portion of NATO. Washington has made clear it would not send U.S. troops to defend Ukraine, but it has provided arms to Kyiv. Western expats marched in the Ukrainian capital on Sunday, urging their governments to support Ukraine. I really, really hope that uh, everything can be sold in a peaceful way, of course, uh, what I think is clear from our side, nobody wants war. So I hope they can talk, find an agreement, mutual agreement, where everybody can live in peace.